Now he done rolled up. Here's another emotional dude, emotionally attached dude, emotionally attached to a scallywag. He done rolled up with his supposed girlfriend, and she in the car with another dude. I don't know how he found her. He might put a tracker on the car or something. I don't know where he at. How he find her? Maybe he followed her around, but he must have followed around because they still sitting in the car. Now watch what this guy does. Now he's justified in doing this now. He's justified in doing this, but this is what happens when you give a woman something she doesn't deserve, something she doesn't earn. <laughs> Y'all all right? Y'all, hey, what the hell going on? What going on? Y'all all right? Who is this, man? Everything straight? I put the motor in there. What going on, man? Crazy. Hey, man, what the hell going on? Yeah, man, what the hell? in the car. Oh, shit. Hey man, what the heck? He should be riding on the ride with the boat. Y'all straight? Oh, <laughs> oh shit. What the fuck? Yo, man, y'all gotta, y'all gotta see this, man. Oh, 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 yeah. Nah, man, he pulled a moat out that thing, man. Y'all gotta watch this again, man. He pulled a moat out that thing. I don't love her. I don't love her. And I don't need her. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. I like to that pussy good though, but I don't eat her. Never, never. She's my baby. She my baby though. When we get lit, we get lit, but she can't claim me. Don't claim me when she's not with me. When I'm gone, gone, gone. You can go anywhere to get the lies, but I know you came here to get the truth. Welcome to the atmosphere. Welcome to the atmosphere. The only place on the planet that's totally engulfed in positivity and totally submerged in alpha energy. I'm your host, Dr. B.O.A. I saw comments, man. People saying, man, that, that's fake, man. That's scripted. I thought the motor was going to come out with the car. The motor is just locked into the car with some motor mounts. You know what I'm saying? You disconnect everything from a car, man. You can just lift the motor out with a cherry picker. The motor is not a part of the car. The motor is an accessory that's put on the car just like tires you know what i'm saying so a motor is not it's not like you pull the motor out the whole car coming with it nope and that's an f-350 boy let me tell you something you can pull a house with an f-350 you can pull a house with a house on the back of it with an f-350 so the way he punched that thing man that motor coming out the motor mounts ain't finna hold that thing in there man motor mounts and 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 them little boats and nah, that, that ain't finna hold that in there man that boy said look at him man give me my motor you can stay in here with the dude but give me my motor. You can keep the whole car, but give me my motor out of it. <laughs> Let me tell you something, bro. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. What you just saw right here is a situation where a woman was expert of using an unwary man for whatever she could get. Now, here's this man putting a motor in her car, and she's using that car to go see another man. If you're giving a woman you just met your money, she's going to use that money to go see another man, very likely, because that man probably won't give her a quarter. Now, the man she was sitting in the car with, that dude probably ain't even got no car. That's another thing you need to look at. You see a woman pass two relationships to see what kind of man she was with. If she was with some dude that didn't have nothing, wasn't doing nothing, then you got, you, got to, you got to watch that. You got to see what her intent is. You got to see what her motives are. Are her motives ulterior? Or are her motives motivated by her desire to please you? That's what you have to do. Now, I don't know if y'all remember Andre Rising, man. He used to play for the Falcons. Used to, uh, Lisa Left Eye Lopez used to be his girl. And she burnt his house down. I mean, it was, it was a hell of a sight, man. This big, huge mansion burning down to the ground because she wanted to burn some shoes up in the tub. She got mad because he did, he came in with a bunch of shoes, didn't buy her none. She got mad and burnt the shoes up in the tub. But this is a story that we didn't know. During that same turn of events, she was uh, getting picked up by Pac from Andre Cribb sometimes. 
Now, people had told him, but he hadn't seen it until this episode, to this experience. Let's check it out. The show got in an argument and it got real, real heated and Tupac came to your house and picked her up. But I, I assume that was already planned. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> uh, I just looked outside. It was limo outside. And she was getting in the limo and the door cracked. When the door cracked, it was obvious. A couple people, out, other people outside too. So everybody seen, everybody seen everything. But it was all, it was all to the good. Like I said, I was already disengaging. You know, the day they left, I burned down your house. You was telling me that it was more to the story, right? Because I always believe, right, that you know she came home, she seen that you bought a whole lot of shoes, and you didn't buy her none, so she ended up burning down the house. But she was telling me that it's more to the story. You said that she called you earlier that day with a female, right, at the house before she burned it down. <laughs> yeah, she came in. She came in the house. She came in the house, but it was a whole bunch of women in the house. You know what I'm saying? It was a whole bunch of women in the house. That's another thing. Like I said, they get that pen, they get the narrating. But nobody told you this either, too. That was the same night that black limo pulled up. See? All this goes down. Andre get a chance to tell his side of the story. When the black limo pulled up, she left and the black limo came back. Him and his boy were turned up. Did that make you look at Tupac different after he came to your house and picked up Lefta? Yeah, at that time. I, yeah, I drew the line. Yeah, I drew the line. I drew the line. Because I had partners like that before. You know, but this was a unique situation, but I had partners like that before. Now, V guy were partners, man. Never fall out with your partner about no chick. Because nine times out of ten, the woman, and I ain't just single and left her out, man. You know, I ain't gonna speak too too, I ain't gonna speak ill on the dead, but this is just women in general. She will extract her emotional resources from whoever is available. So if there are two guys available and they're friends or they're their constituents, she will extract their her emotional resources from them and then put them at odds emotionally. Or put them at odds fraternally as brothers put them at odds because the one thing that a woman is going to do she's going to protect her emotions and whatever emotional energy energy she has to extract and whoever she has to extract it from she's going to do that and there's really not much you can do about it there's not much to be said or done about it that's just what's going to happen it's just the reality of life so we can talk about a lot of things but we have to understand that when it all boils down, a woman will always find a way to blame the men for her past failed relationships and always overvalue herself and therefore refuses to improve. She'll just extract more energy from more people. It's rare, man. When a woman gets past 25, it's rare that she's going to improve. I'm just letting y'all know it's rare that she's going to improve in this society because this society does promote improvement for women. This society promotes just be who you are. We accept you. So those men are going to have to accept you as well. For men, it's about improvement. If you don't improve yourself, man, then you lose. Like you got to put yourself in a position to win by getting better. You know what I'm saying? If you can't shoot, if you can't shoot a jump shot or dunk or shoot free throws or shoot three pointers, you're going to be out of the league. You got to develop a skill. You know what I'm saying? Or either you got to be a dominating rebounder like Dennis Rodman. You got to be somebody. And every year in the league, you're not somebody. You run the risk of that being your last year. So you got to get better in the offseason. That's all this is about. It's about getting better in the offseason, making a championship run. If you win, okay, still go get better in the offseason. If you lose, you know you got to get better in the offseason because the ultimate goal is to win the championship at the end of the season. That's how we view life as men. Women don't view life as that because they don't have to. You know, coming up, coming up and you the guy, you know, it's hard to cheat. It's hard to, you know, be in the public side and have a different chick on your hip every every week. You know, it's hard. It's hard, you know, so a lot of guys don't. So a lot of, you got, a lot of guys go the mistress route. A lot of guys go to whatever route it may be. But the tables is turned just as much with women and men and men and women. It's the same, it's the same thing. 
Um, what you do to a woman, a woman can do to you just as fast, you know, or even quicker. But at that time, wasn't nobody, uh, wasn't nobody and had nobody, you know, stepped out the situation. So when it happened, I was already alerted about it. And so when it happened, I was like, that just solidified. That just put the thumb on it. That just tagged it. Oh, okay. It is true. But I ain't got time for that, man. I'm in the National Football League, making tons of money, young, about it. I'm going to win in that lane anyway. Now, one of the things I want to say about this, man, is that uh, you have to appreciate the process of progress. Here's a man saying he focused back on this process of progress. He's like, you know what? I'm in the league. I'm making money. I'm balling. I'm 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 not finna let this chick man, you know, get me wired up like that. I'm 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 on what I'm on. So at that point, once Pac pick once Pac pick left I up, that was the that was the that was the deal. That was the deal seller. And after that, after that house thing, man, they 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 broke up, man, and they they ain't kicking no more, man. He went on, you know, with his career, man. She went on, did the thing that she was gonna do, man. But he had to get out of it, man, because here's the thing: you got to understand, most women come to you with emotional wounds already. See, we're not worried about emotional scars. Emotional scars are healed wounds. We're worried about emotional wounds, and most women you meet are gonna have those. And here's the thing. Why was this woman burning down this house? It has nothing to do with sometimes a woman is just toxic. Sometimes she's just toxic. It has nothing to do with you. If a woman is if a woman is filled with toxicity, man, you can't fix that. You shouldn't even try to. You got to flee from that. The very moment you realize it's that, you got to flee from it because it has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with anyone. It has something to do with who she is internally. It has something to do with her ability or inability to govern herself based on the fact that she's either spoiled or, or, or she's, she's, you know, entrenched in some type of, you know, internal turmoil or something's going on within her. It has nothing to do with you. So when that toxicity is there, you don't, you never accept that. So let's run down this list right quick, man. We're talking about 10 signs. A woman is too worldly to connect spiritually with you or on any level at all. One, she doesn't understand the less is more mantra. The less she does foul things, the more important she becomes to you, the more value she has to you. Two, her need for validation trumps every reasonable idea she's ever had. If her need for validation is the driving force in her life, flee the scene. She's not worthy of your time, attention, affection. She's not worthy of a text or a call. Three, if she wants everything in exchange for basic domestic duties and nothing more, Flee the scene. Basic domestic duties are not worth anything. That is par for the course. That is something she is going to do just because she is in the house, the same way she does it in her own house. That's just something she does. That's not worth everything. You guys got to learn a bartering system in relationship. There's a relationship bartering system that I came up with, man, and I'll, I'll release it at some time. Number four, she doesn't value her virginity, but wants you to wants you not to devalue her lack of virginity. See, we value virginity. If a woman don't have it, then that that knocks a couple of notches off. Let's just be honest. Women value men that can provide. If you can't do that, then that knocks a couple of notches off of you. See, as men, we're willing to accept what knocks our notches off. We're cool with it. We understand that, okay, this means something when it comes to relationship dynamic. And women should too. So if you got a woman who doesn't, you got to keep that in mind. Number five, she has no idea how to manage money and won't submit her finances to a man who does. If one won't submit her finances to you, man, she don't deserve you. Because I'm going to be honest with you, I ain't never met a woman who can manage money. I've met women who made so much money that the money they blow didn't sink them, but they could always do so much better managing money. I mean, even a woman who's getting real money, she could do so much better managing money. Men, women just aren't good managers of money because to them, money means buy, buy, buy. There's always, man, a woman who ain't got a dime, 
will sit online, an online shop, man, when she knows she got some money coming, she will have stuff in her cart at seven different stores, seven different online stores. And then when her money hit, man, she already got three, four hundred dollars going out of pocket already. Number six, social media is her God. I don't think anything more needs to be said about that. Social media is her God. She worships social media. The validation she needs in life is the validation she gets from social media. She can't stay off of it. A lot of see, and here's the problem: even women who don't post on social media but listen to social media content all of the time, their outlooks are influenced. Have, have you ever heard a woman say something that you know is something that floats around online? Just an ideology that you know permeates the online spaces. Social media is her God. Anything that develops your outlook on life is your God because it's actually affecting the way you deal with the world and you expect the world to deal with you. That's life altering events, man. Number seven, she's an expert at using unwary men and, each, and, and other women for whatever she can get mercilessly. If she is a woman who takes advantage of people regularly for her own benefit, flee. Number eight, she believes what she doesn't get from you, she is justified in receiving from another man. Not saying anything, not, not even saying, you know, you know, maybe I wish you could do this. Can you do this? Blah, blah, blah. Please, can you do this? Shit? Not nothing. Just she can just go get it from another man. I want you to think about that. There are women out here like that. Number nine, she only offers a multitude of excuses for her mess ups in life and no solutions. She has not figured out any single solution to anything that she's dealt with in life. Not one single solution. It's just all a bunch of excuses. This is why this happened. This is why this happened. This is why this happened. All right, Charlotte, what you going to do about it? Well, I don't know. I just, I'm just going to stay away from those type of people. It's always the people. Number 10, she has no intent of accepting the detriment of her actions in relationships. She has no intent. She'll shut down on a relationship before she accepts her actions. You got to avoid those types of women, man, because they have a trail of failed relationships in their life. And if they, anyone who has a trail of failed relationships in their life and they don't understand what went on and don't see any need for to change anything about themselves, then they're delusional. And if you invite that type of delusion into your life, then you invite that type of confusion into your life. Don't do that to yourself. Number 11, she lies when it's not even called for. That's a big one. That's a big one. She lies when it's not even called for. Sometimes under the guise of, I, I didn't know what I was saying, or, or, or I forgot, or I thought you knew what I meant, or, well, this is what I meant when I said that, so I'm totally opposite. You got to remember that, man. These, these are detrimental things. Number 12, she only appreciates your successful result not the process of your progress. Any woman who came back to the process of your progress, man, but always trying to enjoy the life that you can provide, man, don't do that to yourself. You being a sucker, you being a trick, you being a sugar daddy. Don't be a sugar daddy, man. If you're going to be a daddy, man, be a salty daddy, a sour daddy. Don't be a sugar daddy, man. Don't do that. If she only appreciates your successful result, not the process of your progress, how does a woman appreciate the process of your progress? She got to get involved in it. She got to dedicate herself to the process of your progress. She has to. Number 13, how does she do that? By always just doing what you tell her to do. You know what her skills are. Make her put them skills to work for you. Number 13, she always blames the men for her past failed relationships. It's always their fault. Somebody always did something. She was so good. She was so great. She was so amazing. Okay, well, if that's the case, then you're a terrible judge of character. As a matter of fact, you ignore the character traits you should be avoiding. Number 14, Three or four tendencies are prevalent in her life. They are, I mean, she prides herself in that. She has a long history of three or four tendencies. She has a long line of men who have enjoyed her three or four tendencies. And that's just what it is. Like, she's not, she's not worthy of that position. You can't put her in it. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. you want, if not, now, if you want some three or four tendencies, then she's the one for you. But you can't put it in a position in your life. You can't put it in the lead position, man. You just can't do it. Number 15, she overvalues herself and therefore refuses to improve on anything. She thinks she's so good in the area she's good at that the area she's bad in can't be that bad because the other area is just too damn good. She ain't going to do it. Number 16, she can't get you shut up and there's an obedience. And when a woman can't do it, if, man, listen, 
You don't meet a woman who don't even like those words. That's the last conversation we having. Last conversation we having. That's it. If she can't give you shut up and there's an obedience, what does shut up mean? It don't mean you can't talk. It means you can't talk when I'm talking. What does obedience mean? It don't mean when I say jump, how jump, you say how high. It means that when it comes to making decisions that are going to affect my life, whether the part you in or not, the part you ain't in, ain't going to be your concern, but the, the you just you just roll with it. I say, right, this is what's going on. Okay, baby, let's go. If it ain't that, then you don't need it. And you can, and, and, and yeah, so when, women gonna say, well, you live in the 50s and you blah, blah, blah. And a woman has a mind too. Okay, she can have a mind just over there. I don't need her mind. Number 17, she has emotional wounds that she either doesn't recognize or isn't willing to heal. Mainly isn't willing, isn't willing to heal. Because you can meet a woman, she may not recognize a man, but you just point it out to her. I do it all the time. But if she won't embrace them as, as emotional wounds, then you, you got problems. And finally, if you meet a woman who wants to be the man, you already know what to do in that situation. You cannot even talk to her. You can't even discuss with her. Because here's the thing you got to understand. A woman who wants to be a man lacks the femininity that a man would desire because she doesn't want to be that. It's just that simple. And listen, man, these things aren't good or bad. These things just are. This is just life, man. The reality is a woman just wants to be somebody, man. She wants to be somebody. But she needs somebody to make her be somebody. She can't do it on her own. She just can't do it on her own. So she goes to get an education. So the education slips can make her be somebody. She goes to get a wonderful career. So the wonderful career can go make her be somebody. But when it comes to an intimate life, all she's dealing with is people that can't make her be nobody. So she changes in all those ways and stays the same in the most important way in the world when it comes to waking up one day and realizing, oh, you know what? I do need a man. I do want a man. And so all she can do with that is bow down and submit to a man and be laid.